Hi team, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So today I'm just sharing a small keynote of Kerberos. So as you know, Kerberos is a Greek word. Dog have three heads. So if you talk about the Kerberos, uh, we have discussed several things in Kerberos. It is based on the symmetric encryptions and shared secret key. KDC maintained database of the secret key of all the principles on the network. Principal is a user. While acting as an authentication server, it will authenticate a principal via pre-exchange secret key. Once the principal is authenticated, principal is a user, okay? When the user is authenticated, the KTC operate as a uh, the KTC operate as a TGS providing a ticket to the principal to establish the trusted relationship between the multiple principals. For example, KTC maintain the secret key for a server and a workstation like both principals, and each trusting the KDS, KDS a user on the workstation authenticate to the KS AS receive a ticket that is accepted by the server based on the trust association. Do I need to remember all this? No, you don't need to remember, don't worry. What you need to remember from the exam point of view is primary goal of Kerberos is to ensure private communication between the system over the network. That is one thing. Second thing is that the, the entire security depending upon the careful implementation, enforcing limited lifetime for the authentication credentials. Why? So that minimize the threat of a replay credentials. Any question in the exam talking about the key has a lifetime, yes, because it can minimize the threat of replay credential attacks. More importantly, KDC can be a single point of failure. What is the solution? Answer is backup and continuity plan. Finally, the length of the key is very important. Why? If the key is too short, it is vulnerable for brute force attack. Thank you so much. And one more thing is that I missed. Uh, alternate of the Kerberos was introduced a CSEM, S-E-A-S-E-M-E, but it was not very effective in the market. Bye.